Hello traders, Zigzag Man here and today I'll be doing some technical analysis of the daily and weekly charts for HRID Hybrid Fuels Incorporated. It trades on the OTC Pink Exchange under the current information tier which is the highest tier on the the Pink Exchange meaning this company must file their SEC filings and file them in a timely manner. First, let's take a look at a three-month daily chart. As you can see, it closed up 8% on Monday, the 6th of February 2012. It was up 0 0.006. It closed at 0 0.081, and the volume was nearly 2 million shares which is actually kind of light here compared to the previous two days. Now this is a 52 week high. I'll show you this on the weekly chart. 14 cents. It began this run at between 2 and 3 cents on the CCI buy signal. Got a nice crossover right here on all of these. The MACD had a beautiful histogram crossover. Fast line crossed up through the slow line. Fast line's going ballistic here. So is the slow line. They're both above zero. The histograms, the, bar, the blue bars of the histogram are looking really good here. Okay, the only problem I see is the CCI is down ticking, but it still hasn't crossed down through plus 100 with a reading of 100 and 11.34 and we've got a stochastics heading down a little bit here too but it was extremely overbought when it was up here and what happened this day was it opened at the bottom ran to the top at 14 cents and closed at 9 the next day it gapped up and closed down but it was still above the five moving average so that's still bullish and then today it opened up here dropped all the way to the middle Bollinger Band found support at the 15 moving average and closed only point zero 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 two off of the high of the day so that's a beautiful looking hammer candlestick and in order for this to be a close a new 52 week high on the close it's gonna have to close above this day here which closed at 9 okay so if it closes above 9 cents that is a breakout into blue sky territory on a closing basis and the next resistance is right here at 10 cents and then there is none all the way up to 14 now Volume is going to have to increase if we're going to get a close above nine cents, nine and ten cents, and then people will really take notice of this and say, "Hey, it's it could go up easily to fourteen cents." So overall, this is pretty bullish. It's closing above the five moving average, and the five is above the fifteen. The blue five is above the red fifteen. It's above the middle Bollinger Band that. 20 period moving average the dotted green line so if it can close above 9 and 10 I don't see any problem with it getting up to 14 here shortly this is a pretty bullish chart it got way too far too fast it pulled back and then it reset all of the indicators and now it's ready to take on the the nine and ten cent resistance again so keep an eye on that if you see a close above nine or ten cents that's extremely bullish and now let's take a look at the money indicators on the daily chart which are on balance volume accumulation distribution and chicken money flow and as you can see on balance volume had a nice little uptick today so did accumulation distribution and so did Jaiken money flow so 
you know what what went on right here in this area was some pro where OBV went up and AD went down right in this area that was profit taking if you were in on the break above resistance anywhere in this area here when the volume started to come in right here I mean if I was in at five cents and it ran to 14 I'd be taking profits too but that was a nice spike of volume right here really really nice and then right now it's coming down a little so I would like to see I would like to see more volume than we had on Friday and you know anything more than 15 it'll be up in this this zone right here so looking pretty good little upticks here on the money indicators so they all agree with each other there's no real bad bearish divergences like there were in the red area here now let's take a look at a one-year weekly chart where you can see last week it closed at a 52 week high right here that was a closing price to beat all looks like this was also a close right here that was so it had two 52 week high closes two weeks in a row and this week it's also up okay and the shape of the candlestick is a hammer with a long lower wick and a tiny body shouldn't have that tiny upper wick but you know that's very very small um, and, and you know it's above the five moving average it is still above the upper Bollinger Band but th this is a 52 week close as of today the 6th of February you know being up 8% on the week that's not bad good volume for the beginning of the week they had 30 million last week and you know it, it's just looking real good here there was a breakout here out of resistance that I showed you on the daily chart there was just a whole cluster of resistance in this area and when it finally broke above that with volume you know that's why it's going here folks volume and we're hoping for more this week now we've got the CCI down ticking but it's not in trouble yet okay it's uh, still way above the danger zone here and stochastics had a chance to reset a little bit so that's good right there because it is now not over 90 anymore and so it is nowhere near overbought and this whole area of the MACD is just looking great you know we got a fast line crossing up through the slow line we got the histogram going from negative to positive and look at the histogram right here in the last couple of weeks that's huge that's a huge move on the histogram and the fast and slow line are definitely upticking very sharply too with the fast line well above the slow line okay so we're looking for volume again this week might not need as much as it got last week because it's you know it's already looking pretty good on low volume so again you know a close a nice you know close a nice white candle there there's still room to move up here okay so overall this is looking very bullish you got the five moving average crossing up through the 15 right here and taking an even sharper uptick and the 15 is actually moving up pretty steep too and so is the middle bow in Japan so overall this this looks really bullish lots of room to move up to the next area of resistance which is the 52 week high at 14 cents set last week and finally let's take a look at the money indicators on the weekly chart this is again a one-year weekly but first this candlestick right here for t this week 
is showing the bulls have won so far. That's a, that's a nice open, not too much of a gap. I'm not worried about any gap right there. It did drop right there and then took off and closed higher than where it opened. So that's a that's a pretty bullish looking candle there, being well above the five moving average. Okay, so on balance volume, accumulation distribution, and Jike and Money Flow all did little upticks so far this week. So there is no serious bear divergences on the money indicators. So that's about it. Uh, this is one of the more bullish charts I've seen all year. And it looks like there's more to go. It looks like he could run. So just depends on the news and if there's more buyers or sellers. But please do your own research and make your own investment decisions. This is not a recommendation to buy or sell, but it's just showing you the possibilities on a chart and where support and resistance is. If by any chance it gets down here to the 15 moving average and starts closing below it, this chart turns bearish at that point. If it ever breaks below support at 13.013, it had twice. You know, basically all it has to do is close below either of these two red days there to turn this chart bearish. So we really want to see it stay above that 15 moving average. Okay. So I want to wish you all happy trading and good luck this week.